know being a little kid hearing that I always thought like yo the I don't know why at such a young age because I wasn't even really interested in doing music at the time but that right. that record always sound like it was just produced so well like yeah that's what I was just telling him like every element of music you can think of was in that yeah. 60 soul mm -hmm. fucking boom pap um the the, the, the strings the, the, the harmonies the the, the, the horns yeah, like it, it had just, that HBCU like feel a, to event. it. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Right. But before we get to that, shouts to them. Yeah, yeah shout out to them. Right? ABC, BBA, legendary the East Coast family. Yeah, the young going through it, man. <laughs> At the playground, oh, right? <laughs> There's no way to do the foot of what's dry. Broke up with my first girlfriend around that time. I was oh, like, God. Oh, Bad idea. This is killing me. Terrible idea. What Every time I heard that, that song, I died. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they should have turned on Jodeci, the opposite of <laughs> the, 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 the evil villains to voice. No, the opposite of that was Snoop. Mm. Mm. Oh, God. Snoop got me through the breakups. Snoop will get you through it, bro. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Back. Mm -hmm. Back. Mm -hmm. Track, track number 15 on Last Meal. If you're going through it, <laughs> play that. <laughs> play that. But before we get there, I was saying Johnny go solo, Ralph go solo. You guys are left. I know there were whispers like, what are they going to do? Is this where they fade out? Because we see it with other groups. How, okay, uh, Timberlake, he'll go solo, and then maybe one other guy will give it a try, try and the yeah. rest of them just fade. Mm -hmm. What was the decision process at that point? You mean, what was the reality? The reality. Mm -hmm. um, Johnny, joint new edition, having to finish his album. And he probably might have been a little mad at me then. And his A&R was definitely mad at me, Lil Silas. He passed away. But I kind of was nudging Gerald to hold him up so he could do our album. But he was in L.A. working on his album. So thank you, bro. Right. And, um, you know, he probably didn't like that. He's like, oh, what about me? And he hung in there with us. Right. So he went to go do what he had to do. Mm -hmm. And I think um, with Ralph, Natural progression. Mm -hmm. That's Ralph Tresman. You know, that's the Dun Dada. So, you know, he just probably had to figure out his sound. And I know he loved Jimmy and Cherry, so that's his comfort zone. Now you're talking about us, right? <laughs> um, well, we understood what was going to happen, and we might have just sat on the bench. Because we would have never thought, you know, we could do something together. Our program wasn't programmed like that. But right. mm. we like, no Ralph, no Johnny. Not like Rick, some shit you can just overlook. But right. even Rick didn't see that. Right. He like, yo, because Rick's, you know, Ralph's his man and the group. And, um, um, you know, Jimmy and Cherry suggested we be something. And, you know, the chatter was, you know, niggas can't sing or... Niggas ain't gonna be nothing. They'd have forgotten three, and, and 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 we heard it, and it was okay. I mean, you know, we didn't do anything to prove you wrong. You know, we were just getting better at what we were doing, right. and um, we started off making like these real sexy R&B joints, and we felt like we wasn't really even being the group. But the crazy shit was when we found out we were a group, is we went to a meeting that we weren't aware of. And they brought us in the office and they said, you guys are a group. Who's they? The MCA people. Okay. Right. You know. 
It was like, okay, so we sitting in there like, the fuck you mean we a group? And it was like, and we got the name of y'all's group. So this is really turning up. So he was like, the name of y'all's group is Bell, Bibbins, and DeVoe. And us, you know, and our sarcastic shit. And I'm on my shit. I'm like, that ain't the name of our shit. That sounds like Ray Goodman and Brown. Right. <laughs> and then I think Ron and Rick said, yeah, that shit sound like a lawyer firm. Right. And then Cass used to always mess up my last name and spell it B-I-V-E-N-S. And my mom hated that shit. She was like, that ain't my name. So I said, listen, the name is hot. It just needs to be altered. Get rid of that INS. They be fucking it up anyways. We gonna be Bell Bib DeVoe. Ron said, that's it. Mm. So we had the name with no music. <laughs> <laughs> we doing the sexy records. I think Ron in there singing some Make Me Weak at the Knees. We in the, we in the other room listening to songs going, what the hell are we, are we doing? doing? <laughs> you know, and then bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Oh. Tim me and Wokey came with that smile again shit. Mm. And Rick went in there finessing that shit, tears and all that shit. That and then shit. it started coming. Then they came with another one. I do need you. Mm -hmm. So in that first recording round, we got two ballads. But we ain't had a shit. We just had two ballads. And our manager at the time, Hiram, he had the golden nugget. He had the cassette. Dope and poison on the same cassette. Oh, mm. so he come to LA. He like, yo, I got the shit. I think Al B. Shaw turned it down. Somebody else turned it down. Freeze was probably putting it on his album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so um, he come to my crib. I got a crib in LA, so I, I guess I. I got a crib, but I ain't leave Boston. I be Boston. I said, fuck it, okay, we make a little money. I got a crib out there, whatever. And he played it. And I'm like, yeah, it's all right, but I like dope. He's like, you don't like this record? I was like, it's all right. And this is poison. And I'm like, and she's dope. I'm listening to the title. I'm on some other shit. I ain't. I ain't. <laughs> we go over to Rouse's house where Ron is at and Rick. And we pull up in front of Rouse's crib. He like, you know, I had a drop top, so he cocks the cassette and we play it. Ron's like, oh shit, this shit is crazy. And Hiram's not our manager yet. He's just kind of hanging around me. He looked at him, he said, nigga, you get us that record, you could be our manager, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm like, damn, Ron putting his chest up and shit, you know? Mm. But he heard it. And then nowhere out of nowhere, I guess him and Ralph was having a get lifted session, so mm. they, Sitting in it like this and shit, right? <laughs> Which is another story behind the story of how we get down. Ralph's like, yo, I need a part. Rick's like, nah, Ralph, you're not getting on this record. He's like, I need a part. Ralph wanted to get on the joint because it was so hot. Right. And um, we went in and, you know, Freeze is like, yo, Mike, you up the back. I thought I heard a ghost and shit. <laughs> I said, what you mean I'm up the back? You know, you got the first part. I'm looking at this nigga like, you got jokes. He said, nah, nigga, you gonna start off this record. I said, what? So said, get in the booth. Girl, I must. Girl, like, nah, this is, relax, nigga, girl. Like, you know, whatever. Hey. I'm, I'm trying to be Ricky and shit, yeah. right? <laughs> Multiple takes, I ain't gonna lie, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to breathe. You know, they niggas beat you with the bass, sing from your stomach, Mike. <laughs> all all this bullshit, y'all this bullshit, right? Bullshit, yeah. right? <laughs> Rick like, yo, just calm down, Ron. Like, you got this shit, Mike. And so I knocked it out. These niggas spider man and free said, yo, Ron, you're next. Ron like, huh? Say, yeah, 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 yeah. Ron goes sings the second part. We like, oh shit. And then here come, you know, here come the cleanup, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then Rick comes in, right? And all that. First he do the verse first. So we finally heard something coming to life. The structure. Right. You know, like, okay, nigga, I got a little four bars, okay, whatever, right. Ron, okay, <laughs> then Rick, you know, Rick. And then the joint, and then um, that record there led to dope. And then back to the Godfather, I went and played him the music. And I said, well, 
we got this song, this song, this song. Quick question. Uh -huh. Where did the poison scratch come from? That's Spider-Man and Freeze. It came together. It came together. Okay. But I'm, I'm trying, I'm going to get there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how that record even sounds the way it sounds. So I play him my music. And he said, yo, man, I'm going to be honest with you, Mike. Y'all need to get the fuck out of L.A. and go to New York. The sound is coming from the East. Mm. And um, us being friends as a, uh, of um, Public Enemy, <laughs> you know where I'm going. Mm. We like, we want them niggas. So how I got with Hank, Keith, and Eric. Bomb Squad. Yes, and we went in with them, and then we did I Thought It Was Me. We started really rounding it out. Mm -hmm. And when it was over, right, Ron again, you know, <laughs> we, we was listening to the mix. And Freeze and Spider did a good mix, but it wasn't the mix. And then Hank said, let me take a stab at it. Went down to Green Street. Yeah, ga, 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 bam! Mm. Niggas was tuning that shit with the drums, hitting them knobs, doing that Rico shit, tuning it up. <laughs> <laughs> and from that point on, we knew we had the gutter sound because they gave us something that wasn't in the mix. They gave us the PE mix on Poison. Mm. That's why that motherfucker cranks. Well, and that's I'm not, not even their that. joint. Hank just did that as a solid. Wow. Mm. Hip hop yeah. smoothed out on the R and B chair where the pop feel. Yes. This hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow nigga throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.